Gotta replace my broken screen. As y'all just seen, I forgot to turn the fucking mic on. Broken screen. It's shattered. Forgot to turn the camera on and the stuff. I took the back off, had to heat it up. Heat the adhesive up. Use the razor blade to bend, pop it up a little bit. Use this uh, handy dandy guitar pick. All the way around. Got the new screen right here. Got the new stuff. A new screen. Amazon, y'all have an A32, Samsung A32, and your screen's cracked, they got good deals on Amazon, but make sure you get the A30, uh, the A3326U, and not the 326 b the U stands for United States, the B stands for other countries, so if you get one that's got a B on it, then it won't work with your United States version. So you have to get United States version. But for $38, got a whole brand new screen with a protector, everything on it. Not a bad fucking deal. And I'm doing it myself, so that saved out some money too. So let's get into it. Put it on the wrong one. Fit the screen. There we go. All right. I ain't smoked nothing today or did any edibles. So I want to do this right. But, uh, Nate Dollar, let's get back to it. Make sure it's recording. Everything's good. Yep. All right. Oh, I'm watching a YouTube video and doing it step by step with the guy on YouTube. So, here we go. Actually, let me see. Here we go. Let me do this. And then. I'm going to let y'all watch him and myself. Do it at the same time. I'll put him up here. The guy. All right. That's the way it works. See y'all in a minute. I'm going to turn the mic off so it's not echoing, guys. Make that look at my... I'm going to pause it so I can take these screws. I already got three out. And, uh, yeah, whenever I take the rest of these little ass screws out, I'll unpause it and then go from there. Hope y'all had a good week and hope y'all had a good Monday yesterday. This Tuesday ain't been too bad. I ain't smoked shit today yet. I wanna or did any edibles. So I wanted to be focused, focused. So I ain't fucking this up. But if y'all have a, a, a Samsung A32 5G, not 4G, 
5G, then if, you, if your screen's broke, go to Amazon. They got them the whole shebang for $38. But, like I said, you have to have the 326U and not the A36B. A is for, I mean, U is for United States version. So, if you get a different one, if you live in the United States with a B, then it will not work with your United States version A32 5G. These screens ain't compatible with uh, the 4G version. I think there's 12 or 16 of these fucking screws. Alright, I'm going to mute the mic so we don't echo in the damn thing. And let's do this together. I forgot I had the uh, it muted, desktop muted, so. Right, unmute it. And are going to remove the C tray. I already did. I already did, guys. ready to remove the middle frame. Oh shit. Hold up. Oh. Let me see a little bit. Alright, same process as a while ago. Got my handy dandy thing in my bob here. Finger off. All right, she's popping out easy. Let me use my guitar pick now. Up in there. Screen's already fucking broke, so it doesn't matter, guys. Let's see. All the way around. It just holds by a, a few clips. Here we have the power button, and the power button is actually a little flex that goes right there. So please make sure you unclip that little power button before removing this frame. Another way you can rip off that cable. Then you can safely remove the whole middle frame. Okay, let's put that on the side. Also, what we're gonna do is unplug the battery.
Just make sure you unclip that little power button before removing this frame. Another way you can rip off that cable. Then you can safely remove the whole middle frame. Okay, let's put that on the side. Also, what we're gonna do is unplug the battery. We have our new screen. You always test the screen before installation, especially when it's a model like this, we have to glue the screen. Okay, to test the screen, we see the big cable on the middle. That is the LCD and charging port cable because this comes with a little connection for the charging port, which is pretty smart. All right, guys, this part of the video is being recorded one week after we start this video. And here's the reason why, because the part I ordered it was the wrong part. It was made for the international version of this phone, which I had to order. Now I ordered the um, US version model LCD for this phone. If I connect this LCD onto this one, uh, it will not turn on. It will uh, you will not see any image on the phone so I had to stop and order the right one you can always identify which one is the one you need you can go to the cable and you're gonna see a three two six and this is the important detail the, the letter after the six this is you as you guys can see in the new LCD I ordered a three two six U. all right that's perfect on the other one that I ordered previously, A326B. So this is not compatible. So I made this mistake so you don't have to. Okay, pay attention on this simple detail at the moment of ordering the screen. Okay, that being said, let's continue with the video. All right, so to test this uh, LCD is a little complicated. Why? Because we don't have actually uh, the power button so we can turn on this phone uh, without have to install the LCD. And I don't want to remove it, just in case this is bad, I can continue to use my phone. All right, how are we gonna do this? Okay, on the frame, we have the power button. This power button is held by a little bracket right here. All we gotta do is grab uh, some tool and just lift the little bracket. It's gonna lift, it's gonna come out like this. All right, just put that on the side, don't, don't lose it. And then we can just push the bottom in and it will fall apart like that. All right, now we have our power button. Now we can test the LCD before we install it. All right, I heard some vibration and voila. Okay, perfect. Now we see the phone is alive. We can touch the screen just to confirm that we have a good uh, touch uh, sensitivity. You can go as far as typing something, just if you uh, are not comfortable, if you're not 100% sure if this is working or not. We can always go, go to the browser, even if the browser has no internet connectivity, uh, we are gonna able to uh, access the keyboard and maybe we can touch letter by letter, number by number, after confirming our LCD is fine, we're going to proceed for the installation. We have our phone already sitting on a heating mat. All right, when the phone reaches a temperature that uh, it's hard for you to keep your hand on top of it, 
if you if you're using a hair dryer or a heat gun if you start to see yellowing you can stop there and uh, don't overheat it more than that because that means you already apply too much heat okay the front is pretty hot all right just make sure it's hot and we are going to grab our razor blade back to that so i'll be right back guys I'm going to pause the video, and then I'm going to go over there and heat it up for a minute. Okay, guys, I had some difficulties, but nothing too serious. This was, I had to heat it up with my stove because my, the straightener didn't work. Didn't get it hot enough. So this is the old screen. This is the new one. Burnt myself on the stove. Right there. Alright, got the old screen out. The old one. Ain't in a dick. Y'all don't have the money though to pay hundred hundred to hundred fifty dollars to get it replaced and this is the only way you can do it but all right let's see what's going on with the lip we have to be uh make sure we unplug the lcd cable to the motherboard and the lcd cable to the um charging port all right, we're just gonna slide this. There we go. And that's how you remove, we're gonna shut this down. That's how you remove the screen. We have a few uh, pieces of glass still attached to this frame. So we have to make sure there is not one single piece of glass in there. If you are not glass proof, like I am, Always use glove or other uh, type of pro protection. Shit ton of little pieces of glass. It's a tedious process, but you gotta get it all out.
then drop the logic board into place. Reconnect that flex and install that single screw. Install the vibration motor, then drop the logic board into place, out, and keep that safe. Notice how I keep the coaxial cables attached. We can just. I gotta see how he takes this vibration motor out. Late. Now we need to remove the battery. The easiest way I've found to do these is to douse it in alcohol around all the four edges of it. Let that soak in for five minutes. And then once you've left it long enough, you can stick one of these suction cups on there and slowly pry it away from the phone like that. Let's pop out the vibration motor. Got it. Didn't want to fuck anything up, guys. It's, you know, I ain't made it out of money. But I definitely wasn't buying a fucking $350 new phone, $400 new phone. And that's everything that we need to take out of this one out. Now we'll take our new display and just do the exact same in reverse. Starting with the battery. Then the subboard. Reconnect that flex and install that single screw. Install the vibration motor, then drop the logic board into place. And again, install that single black screw to hold it down. Then connect the sub to main flex, or in this case, sub to screen flex. And all these has where you just push it on. You just push it on like so. Doing like that, the bottom one. Then I took away the blue and the white cable. I believe the blue one goes on the bottom. And then 
then is secured into place with the white one. Flip these around right quick so they go in the right spot. Bang, bang, ba bang, bang. That, that one's done. Because that's a little bit thicker. With everything connected now, we can install the battery connector. Make sure all the screws are in that we want in there. Then take that mid frame. I had to put the power button back on. Right, let's keep back into it, get her done. And secure it. Around all the edges. Totally forgot to hook up the fucking power, uh, the power button. Oh, okay, I see. I see. There's a spot where you can push it down with this tool. Let's do that.
Yeah. Check this fingerprint sensor. And power button flex. Then turn the device on to make sure it's all working. We've got display. I'll check the touch in a minute. Then reinstall all these cross head screws. Should've watched this video to start with instead of doing all that heat and shit. Could have been done 20 minutes ago. So I recommend y'all getting the uh, the screen, the front screen replacement with with the uh, the frame. 15 minute job. No heating, all that shit, other than the uh, battery. But just probably saved a hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks, placing this screen myself, buying it on Amazon. If you live in the United States, and you have a a32 Samsung A32 phone get the replacement 320 A326U for United States version if there's a B or another a letter behind the uh, A326 A 326 then uh it's not usa version and if you live in the united states you have to have a usa version the great usa baby i think after this i'm gonna roll a blunt shit Reviews to do. I got one, uh, four for Jack, well, three for Jackson at buyorganhemp.com. One more for 25 Hour Farms. And you hear she's working, boys. Like clockwork. Every time I go live, boy, drop a video.
it goes fucking crazy. <laughs> Hope y'all uh, check out my reviews, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, I know people watch my videos and are not subscribed. What's the what's the harm in going right over here hitting that subscribe button? And hitting that subscribe button. It's free, it takes two seconds. I love this shit. Stuff like this. Exercising your brain cells, your brain. So, fuck the repair places. Do it your fucking self. From the great old YouTube. YouTube land reveals again. Another win. And that's all my screws. Let's see what he's got to say. Do a quick double check to make sure there's no holes that are without screws and that they're all installed. And then because we didn't actually damage any of this adhesive, I am gonna just leave that in place, but I am going to use some of this adhesion promoter from Tessa that sort of reactivates the adhesive. Apply that using a lint-free cotton bud. And it also comes with this kit from Amazon for $38. Comes with the new glue that you just go back over. But this one's still pretty damn sticky. So I'm probably not going to use any. I'll save it. Alright. See y'all in a minute. They're like microfiber type ones. These what I'm using. They're really good and they don't leave any cotton behind like the normal cotton buds do. Then re-secure that onto the back of the phone. Last thing to do is install the SIM tray. That is how we repair the Samsung A32 5G using a genuine Samsung service pack. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned Just like that, guys. I'm gonna put the Sims car tray back in. Gotta get the dog hair out of it first. Can you push it back in? Reset it, and it works. Restart, restart. Got the trash right, and it vibrated so the thing's in right. Trash right here.
Just like that, the bitch is working. I fixed it myself. Works perfect. All that burnt my finger on the stove, though, heating it up. But see when you get home. I did a whole YouTube video why I did it. I'm going to put it on YouTube on my channel. In case anybody else has any problems, they can save some money in this fucked up economy. Alright, now, now you see it's working. Time for the for the pill. Works fine. You get the whole kit, the tools, the tools, a new screen protector, the glue, the re-glue, the swabs, tweezers, tweezers. This pry tool here. And it comes in one of these. And it comes with an extra whatever this is. I don't know what the hell that is. Non-professionals are not recommended to install. Well, guess what, bitches? I'm not a fucking professional. And guess motherfucking what? Nate Dog whooped that ass, bitch. Nate Dog got a damn motherfucker without anything. New. Old. Old. screen and that will be it for today but you, it doesn't come you need a razor blade to get in there and then after you, it breaks free then you can use a uh, one of these that came with it or the pick tar pick but that's gonna do it for this one guys Nate dog loves you check me out on my 
Count reviews, baby. Nate, I love you. I'm out. I built this PC by myself too.